Hi guys, this is a video demonstration of the Test Electronics Prober uh, 16 by 15 fixture with press down rods. Now what I'd like to demonstrate on this fixture is first just simply how to work it. It's got the lever latch mechanism that multiplies the force so I can press 100 test pins down real easily just by one finger pressing that down. Uh, the next thing I want to do, the main thing I want to do for this video is demonstrate for you the, the way to mount hardware in this. Now let me put this board aside for a bit and we're going to start taking this apart. Now this has been modified a little or prepared a little I should say for this video in that some of the screws have been removed on the sides and the back just so I can take things apart easier. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the bottom cover off and show you how to mount all your hardware. So basically to take the bottom cover off it's just two screws front and back and the bottom cover lifts right off. Now you shouldn't mount anything in this bottom cover. It's just a protective cover. It's pretty uh, but it's, it's thin. It's not really made for mounting. Everything should be mounted, mounted inside the fixture in this area. Now for mounting we've got three different places. Now first what I want to do is remove these cables here. Now the, the bed of nails plate actually connects in the fixture with these cables. Now this ha fixture has not been customized yet. Uh, the customer wants to mount this stuff all themselves. So we just gave them everything they need to mount their stuff. Uh, the, the ribbon cables will be removed and will remain in here like this, but this plate will pull out that way. So let me, let me show you that. So let's just take out these ribbon cables for now, just so you can get an idea of how this whole thing comes apart and get a, a look inside. Okay, so there's three plates in here. Uh, this plate right here, this in the two side plates, and well the back plates. So there's four plates where you can mount stuff and the front plate even. So five plates where you can actually mount stuff that you want. Now this this front plate on this fixture is just a single front plate and you might wonder well why the heck are there so many screws holding that one front plate together? Well here's the reason. Back plates the same exact thing. There's modules. There's different size modules we can put in here. So, for example, if you wanted to take this double module out, now there would be four screws. There's only going to be two screws for me, though, because they prepared this for me for this demo. Uh, this would just come right out then. Take out those two screws, and this module pops right out like that. And you can customize this, mount cables, um, connectors, whatever you need to do, and then just put it right back in and screw it down. Uh, these other two modules come out the same way. This is a single, this is a double, and this is a quadruple. So that's the back panel. The inside panel has 14 screws that holds this in, and that can be removed, mm, let's see, with nuts, similar to this one. And there's 14 of them all around. So I've got three to remove to demonstrate this to you. So let me do that right now. Got the wrong size nut driver. Here we go. All right. One. So, the three screws are out. I'll turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. This just lifts right up, just like this. And then this can be removed uh, to mount whatever you want on here so you're not mounting it on the plate. Now let me just lift up this here so I can pull it right out. The side panel uh, flange gets in the, in the way a bit. That just hinges open like that. Okay, now this will come right out. Now what you can do 
is mount all the stuff that you wanted, a power supply maybe, some servos, some circuit boards, whatever you need to mount in here, you mount on this, and then you mount this in here. It makes it real easy. So you mount what you need on this plate, and then you put the plate back in. Just like that. Then all your cables, of course, would be connected to whatever you mounted on the plate, and they would plug in like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this plate back in with its three screws now to show you some other stuff. Got to have this plate in here. You can watch me put one screw in with this through this little opening here. Well, there we go. Okay, so we'll put these three screws back in to hold this stuff in place. And then next thing I'll do is show you how to mount in the side panels in here. And I'll put that one uh, thing back down that I lifted up, the, the bottom flange, right here. There's, that's just two screws. Allows you to take that inside uh, mount out real easy because it, it's wider than, than the hole left in by, by the two flanges. So lift one of these up or both of them and you can take that out fairly easy. So now what I want to do is show you how to mount inside the sides and why you would want to mount in the sides and not just mount everything here. And the reason for that is because the sides open up for serviceability and I'll demonstrate what that means right here. Now normally there's five screws. Let me turn that to the side. Normally there's five screws, but there's only two for this demonstration, so I'm not, you're not just watching me turn screws, but that's how this works. This opens up, and what you could do is mount circuit boards in here, or a relay bank, or, or a smaller power supply. Anything really that would be handy for you to access when you open it up. A lot of times we'll put uh, circuit boards in there with potentiometers for calibration. So you just would adjust, you'd open this up, adjust it to where it needs to be, and you can run it with this open too. Uh, it's still perfectly stable. You can run it with, with both these open. Let me open the other one too and just show you what I mean. So what this is, what I'm demonstrating here is really all the mounting features these fixtures have, the places you should mount your parts if you're going to build anything into the fixture. You would mount it in here or here or up on this plate here. Because the main thing you want to have is the, the uh, removable plate, this plate. This whole plate can then be unsnapped from those three connectors that I showed you earlier, the three ribbon cables, and lifted right out and replaced, or worked on. Uh, say you wanted to add extra test pins or something like that. You would move, remove this plate, and then you can work on it, and then the plate just comes up like that. Now you got to be really careful when you handle these not to bump the bottom, but the top is fairly safe if you lay it on a level surface, typically, because we make the top with tooling pins that are longer than the test pins. So you can just lay this like that, and you're, you're perfectly safe there. And what I want to do is show you the inside here. Uh, this is that plate that I removed from the back side where you would mount all your, your stuff, and the cables would then come out through here and plug into the back of that. Just like that. Okay, so now that this is removed, you can go in and you change the wiring easy. Change the whole darn plate if you need to uh, for a different device. If you change your device a lot, or your circuit board a lot, your unit under test. But if you just add, say, a few extra test pins here or there, or uh, you can just take this plate out, put it in a vise in the mill and drill it and get all your pins right where you need to have them. Okay, so 
That's removing the bed of nails plate. Press plate is also just as easy to remove. You just pull out this pin, slide this over a little, pull out this pin right here, and the press plate comes right off like that. Now you can drill this, uh, make move press downs if you need to, or put a different press plate in if you change your board a whole lot. And to put it back together is the same way. Just slide this hinge pin right back in there like that. And it's all back together for the press plate. Now the bond plate, put back in the same way we took it out. Just right like this. And we'll put the four screws back in there. But that's the, the idea is to have this, um, this design modular so that it can be taken apart and put together real easy and not mount stuff on this bond plate, but to mount it on that piece of sheet metal behind it, underneath the bond plate. That way the bond plate's removable. If you go mounting all your power supplies and, and circuit boards to this bed of nails plate, you can't remove it uh, and work on it. So that's why we have all these, these different types of mounting uh, options all over the place. Once again, side panels, front panel, and back panel. And the inside unit is all available places to mount whatever you want to mount inside the fixture, uh, be it power supplies or whatever it is you want to mount in there. All right then, I don't need to assemble this whole fixture again just to, to uh, conclude the video. So that concludes the video and the demonstration of all the mounting options that this fixture has available. The uh, Prober 16-inch uh, fixture with press-down rods, the edge press fixtures, and the adjustable press-down rods also uh, have these features available if you want to get them. Now, they don't come standard with that. The standard side plate is a solid side plate and looks like this. Uh, this is a hinge side plate. So, if you want that side mounting, you have to order it. And same with the inside plate. And the inside plate is actually custom made for this, as you will see right here. Uh, it's cut to be just bigger than the pinning inside the fixture. So these will always be custom to your application, custom cut to your application. And these modules in the back, the removable modules, you can have it any way you want. This is a single, this is a double, this is a quadruple, but we have triples and two singles and a double. Or you could, you could have any variety of selection you want, depending on how you think you want to customize it. Or you could just have one complete flat back plate like we did on the front plate. But these front plates are also available with removable modules. Okay, this concludes the video demonstration of the Prober Test Electronics Prober uh, test fixture. I, f I hope you found this informative. If you did, there are more videos like this at testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.